So I have another set that I've been working on. It's fire protection and thorns. I already have a full set of just fire protection, but I decided to make a second set to add thorns because once you start adding something like thorns, you have to like reconfigure how you're gonna do the whole thing because if you just add the extra enchantment there, it's not gonna work. It's a time. It's a time and a half. What? What? Skeleton. Hello? Hello? I didn't... I, I legit just... I didn't... I haven't seen this before. I kept warping in instead of... Oh, okay. Um, okay, we're... I was just gonna um, add another enchantment, because these ones I think take 24. I don't know how much this one takes. 22. I only have 20 right now, and I was just gonna use up some of my levels, and then we were gonna go, I don't know, adventuring, maybe? 17. 16 is good. I finished the um, projectile projection and, and um and um thorns set. I also finished up some of the other stuff. Where's oh I need to get back to the barn. I brought over all of the um skeleton horses to the barn. You can see it all the way over there. I guess we could do the path, but I'm just... Ugh, being productive doesn't sound exactly like what I want. I fixed some of the lighting issues as well. I didn't check all the lighting though, so I might have to... I should actually fix some of the lighting because it's spawnable areas inside. Where's... That's good. Um, and where is my stack of crafting tables? There you are. And this as well. I don't need this. I was using it to light candles. Oh, I don't want this to accidentally place. But yeah, so I fixed my lighting issue by putting candles. There's plain candles on all the bones. And then there's light gray candles on the, um, the tree itself. And I also hang hung some, um iron bars, as well as chains. Okay, let's check the lighting level. 10, 9, 8, yeah, 7. Oh, I can't put it here. Okay, I guess I'll just put it here. Great. Um, I don't need this, I need... Okay, 10, 9, 8, 9, Seven. Okay, well I guess I'll put it like here. Ten. Seven, yeah. Sir. You're both gonna have to move. Oh, 10, 9, 8, 7, yeah. Nine, eight, eight, nine, ten, nine, eleven. Just being very careful. Okay, so I do think it's all lit up now. And then I guess for the torches spammed around, I'd have to use moss carpets. That's mostly just like a separate project though, because that's like everywhere. Um, and putting all this away is going to be a time, but I don't know. I can just grab some of the stuff now. Um, head over to the barn. And 
toss this in here. Um. What else do I need? I need... Why are you here? Did someone throw chickens here? Okay. A bit cruel to put them right here, but... I guess I'm not one to stop anyone. Hmm. Okay, so what else? I need a... I need to go home. I'll put this with... No, this goes with this stuff. And then this goes... I need more of these. And I need more of these. And why not a stack of enderpearls? And then I've got... I'll need more slow arrows. Nope, that's the wrong kind. Hello! Hi, Patches! Oh my gosh, I have to show you. The barn is finished. It's so sick. I just need to um, fix a path over here and then clear out all of the, the three chests that I have been using. But I've got all these horses. And then I've got two more over here in the corral. And there's like a wall. And I'm using bones. And I made this tree out of dead coral. And I put candles on it just because I need to light up stuff. And I've got two more horses. It's so sick. I'm very happy with this project now that I've finished it. I just have to, you know, actually clean up what I did after after the fact, but, you know, actually cleaning things up isn't my specialty. But yeah, I was thinking of just, like, wandering around and adventuring a bit, because otherwise, I don't know, I might just get bored just trying to fix a path. I th the path is a time, because you have to do all the soul sand and then hide all the soul soil and everything so people with soul speed can like run over it faster and hiding all this soul soil. Oh yeah, that's great. Oh yeah, there's also this sign. I don't know what the sign's from because I had just been warping in here and then I like leave right as I start stream and then suddenly we get a doom sign. I don't know why. Oh yeah, I did this. I forgot. But I didn't do that sign, so that sign's very concerning, you know? These things, they can be concerning. But yeah, I was thinking of just... Like, warping out and then exploring a bit. Where's my desert warp? Yeah, it's like negative 70,000, negative 20,000. You can see I was using it to pick up sand a bit. Because this is very, very far out, so it's not like I'm bothering anyone. And yep, it's too late on that. Okay, there's so many husks. Yeah, we might get access to the end, which would be nice, because a shulker would be very much appreciated, even one. Well, I technically do have one shulker box, but that one's more uh, an illegal gift, so I just use it to store all my other illegal gifts and then leave it in my ender chest and never touch anything. <laughs> I'm very excited for what this might mean, though. It is a bit ominous. The delivery has something to be desired, you know? But 
I guess that's just how it is sometimes. Is that just all dirt over there? What? Oh no, it's not dirt, it's a <laughs> shipwreck. Okay. I was like, why is this all dirt? How does this even generate? A uh, moss, a hat, yeah, I'm good. I'll just... Very treasure map. Mm -hmm. way is it this way then? Yeah. Yeah, it's like right here. something. Hi! We're adventuring. Um, I finished up my emo barn build, so now I'm just adventuring, and I have found a treasure map already. I just... I know there's a trick to these, like, where you can use, like, one of the cheat menu, like, the menus, but I'd rather just dig out and find it. Especially because I've got netherite, so I'm not really, like, wasting time, I'm just... Okay, but where is the... How hard is it to find it? It's this way, still? Hmm. This is- this leaves very much to be desired. Is this gonna be one of those times where I just throw away the map and... ...don't care? Suffering. Where could it be? I just kind of ended up stumbling upon a group, really. It, like, wasn't even a group. Like, I was there when we started the server, and it was mostly just like, hey, do you guys want to play Minecraft together? Because we all knew we already liked Minecraft and everything, but... give up. Never mind, there's never any... No, ma no matter. I don't... Treasure? I don't know what that is. I've never seen a treasure in my entire life. Now to pick up some sand. This was just some sand farming. We don't need to... Don't look at me. In my shame. Continue moving diagonally, I guess. Um. Oh, this is a cool looking biome. A little mountain island. Wow. 
world. Oh, it looks like there's some lighter ocean over there. Hello. Oh my gosh, yeah, I don't even remember what some of my characters look like in other, um, things. And then, of course, like, there are games like Genshin Impact, which takes so much space that you have to, like, clear up half your space on your computer to be able to hold the whole game. <laughs> yeah, just, this is my sleep paralysis uh, avatar. Don't, don't worry about it. We don't need to talk about it and what it looks like. It's a strategic advantage. Confuse people. Oh yeah, that sounds cool. There's this one, um... I think they're an animator and a, uh, like, artist on Twitch called QWERTY. And they have, like, a little robot avatar, and then they only use, like, a robot voice changer. And it's really cool. And then sometimes when they're doing, like, playing games with other people and, like, voice acting some of the characters in the games, they'll, like, take off the, um, voice modifier and be like, well, I gotta use my vo human voice modifier and then just speak normally. Which is very funny. Oh, that's cool, yeah. Have I been here before? I might have gone in this direction before, maybe. I don't think I've gone this way, though. I've never really played around with, like, voice changers or anything like that. That's mostly just because... <laughs> I avoid anything that requires extra effort. <laughs> Not a single desert temple, nothing. Just little explodey men and more savannah. I don't need this in my life. Yeah, that's where I was going, okay. For a second I thought that was a creeper hole that I had done at some point. I was like, what how? Speaking of creepers, hello, sir. Oh sweet, yeah. Is that a ruined portal right in the middle of a village? Okay, that's funny. They literally settled down like, ah yes guys. I know a perfect place to look. Here's this hell portal. <laughs> really? They didn't even- there's hay right by their lava, okay. And, well, I, c I could use some golden carrots. Thanks. Um, I don't want feathers. I'll take this over spoiled potatoes. And I'll take this instead of that. And I also want the chest. Do I? Yeah, I've been grabbing chests. I have my hoe, right? Yeah, I definitely do. Yeah? This village does not know safety precautions. This village does not have OSHA to tell them that this is a fire hazard and a general life hazard. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir? Are you really doing your just in case things come out of the portal, huh? It's weird. The only ones I've seen where they generate and things are already grown are um, this kind of generation of a wheat field in savannah villages, and then there's a specific generation of a pumpkin field in uh, the taiga villages. And that's it. Everywhere else, nope. Oh, there's some more hay. It's 
It's so weird going from, um, like, just being fearless here and being like, yeah, I don't really care what happens because I'm in full netherite and I can do what I want, to, um, doing what I have to, like, doing, like, the roleplay on my, like, hardcore series thing that I do in stream. And being like, oh god, I'm terrified of everything and I don't know what anything is. <laughs> Guys, where's your Minecraft OSHA? I need more hay. More hay. All the hay. Oh, do you guys have, like, t what even is this village like? Guys. Okay. Um. I don't want to interrupt anything that's happening here. Oh, idiots. That guy literally just left. Okay. Okay, king. Dude. I, like, did not ask. cats in this village. Okay. Okay, guys. No, there are like five cats. Okay, guys. This village has two cartographer- three cartographers, two, um, butchers, and then a bunch of hay. And it's on- is that a second village over there? I think it's a second village. Guys, we're really not accomplishing much here, huh? And you're- you're around a hell portal, and you've got five cats and, like, four villagers all in one house. The polycule is thriving. You're in a large polyamorous relationship, and I respect you for that, but you're really- the rest of it I don't respect. <laughs> you guys are really, uh, endangering literally everyone. And then you've got this neighboring town that decided to build on a cliff, because they're like, let's get as inaccessible from these idiots as possible. Valid. Fair. This is where the actual, like, city planners live. They're like, yeah, let's put all the idiots in that town. That large, idiotic, polyamorous couple. Polyamorous group. Oh, you've got children here. Okay. Okay, guys. Now I gotta craft hay. So much effort, SMH. Oh, there's so much hay. I'm a simple man. All I want is hay. God, when I had, when I was like trying to breed llamas to get the 15 slot llama, which I have now, for literally no reason other than, oh, this is something that takes time. I can sink time into this. And then after that, I proceed to be like, let's try and get a blue axolotl. Still has not gotten a blue axolotl. But, anyway. Oh, a saddle. I don't need that. Okay. Um. Where is the other? There was hay over here, right? Oh, melons. I forgot. Also, uh, this only happens in savannah villages where sometimes they're like, because they've got more wild patches of farmland, it'll go into paths and onto that, and then you'll get this these dorky little floating water sources, and it's like, okay, guys, okay, we, we get it, you're cursed, you have curses upon your house, is this, yeah, hey, sir, I don't, I don't need redstone, thanks. Okay, yeah, this village isn't as good- isn't any better than the other one, really. They just have more spread out areas. And still, tons of hay. And ruinous farmland. You can't grow anything like this, guys. Please. I guess I'll pick up these melons, too. It's more useful than some moss I can already get. I love how quick it is to, um, mine melons and stuff. It's literally so satisfying. Ring ring. Oh. 
sometimes you just need random is this like a second it's not a second village connected but it's like here's the residential neighborhood guys oh hello why why are you like this okay guys we're not li really accomplishing much here are we is this a second leather worker okay guys They've really capitalized the market. Both of these towns have their own distinct skills. They have a specific set of skills. I'm going to collect this, even though I don't need to. I don't need gravel, I have pickle and trading farms. Let's go out into the, yes, a temple, a temple. Maybe we can complete that, like one of the first streams I did, like the third stream or whatever. I found two enchanted golden apples in the same desert temple and lost my mind. And there's a clip of it that I put, like, it's the first thing I posted to my Twitter, because I made a Twitter specifically for, like, streaming and stuff. And it's the first thing I did, and I was just like, okay, okay, okay. Let's not... Okay, yeah, I shouldn't have done that, really. Golden apple, regular golden apple. Quick charge three is good. Golden apple, smite, that was good. Okay! Three diamonds? I didn't know that you could get three diamonds at once. I guess I knew diamonds are in the loot table, but still. One time I cheated when I was playing a UHC with some friends when I was like a kid. And I checked in the temple because we had to like fly around on the server beforehand and load up the area that we had like enclosed in so that we didn't get like chunk loading problems. But I checked in to this, uh, to a temple, knew that there was diamonds in there and promptly, when it, like they randomized wherever we were placed, placed us somewhere, and I promptly memorized how to get there because I'm very good at Minecraft navigation specifically because that's a good skill to have apparently. Um, and then, uh, like literally just like memorized the way there and then walked all the way there. I also did a thing in um, UHCs where I would try and go to the Nether as soon as possible and make sure to get the return to sender achievement just to flex on them for no reason. I don't know why I did this. I was like, yeah, this is a worthwhile uh, use of my time. Cause I also use the um, nether quartz to get enough cause I would always enchant as well. And I never actually won any of those UHCs, shockingly enough, I never won a UHC. Um, <laughs> instead it was just like, the closest I got, um, I had a fire aspect sword, because it was like very rare for us to actually get that kind of enchantment, and or to even be enchanted at all, and then I got fire aspect, and I was like, hell yeah, let's go, let's do this thing. And then it was raining at the time, and the one person who um, could control the server was the other person I was fighting against, and then they didn't, because they had like, I think it was Irish ping or something. They had, like, bad ping compared to the rest of us and couldn't, like, change the server weather. And I was just like, wow, great, this is great, I'm l I love it here. And then I never won one. I was, like, the one person to never win. At one point, me and someone else, we were, we were doing, like, a team event thing. And I accidentally, like, I didn't, um... I, like, just didn't idiot-proof our strip mine. So then later when the border was closing in and we were going, they like walked straight over an area where I was like, yeah, you gotta walk around or whatever. And they walked straight over it and fell right into the um, the lava in our strip mine. It was very funny to me, kind of. But then also I um, did not win that one either. I got distracted at one point picking flowers, I think, and then got attacked and was like, well, I already don't have my teammate. I'm just vibing at this point. And at one point in one of those UHCs, we had, uh, I think it might have been my, the Irish friend I had. I don't remember all their names, I'm gonna be real. I just don't remember all their names. Um, the Irish friend, like, they, uh, he brought, like, some of his other friends in, who, like, kind of, like, we were, like, all so awkward and passive-aggressive about it for, I don't remember why, but we were just being weirdly passive-aggressive. And at one point, they were, like, are you in the nether? And then I'm like promptly getting the return to sender achievement. And I said, no, 
in chat like a liar, you know? I don't know why we did this. Like we were being weirdly passive aggressive as a group. And I was like, I don't I don't remember why. Maybe it was because they kind of inserted themselves. I don't remember if they did though. Or if it was just us being assholes because, you know, teenagers are assholes. We had some fun times though. We had like a little side Twitter account where we all group, like as a group together, had like, like we would post about the UHCs or whatever. And we had like a group chat and everything. It was actually kind of fun. Um, and then we had like some other like projects, I think, that we were doing together. And it just never worked out. Like people just wouldn't do the projects. And I'm sitting there like, hmm, I want to do these fun, cool looking projects. And then everyone's like busy. Oh, sweet, yeah. Okay, dude, you don't have a trident. L ratio, I hate you. No one likes you. I literally am just here for your chests at this point. And then maybe your treasure, if you, I can find it. But yeah, we were, as a group, it wasn't like, I don't know, it was weird. It was one of those like weird, unhealthy, like first on the internet friendships that you get where it's like, I don't know, weirdest vibes ever. But that's just how it be when you're like first on the internet, you make some weird, unhealthy friendships and you're like, okay guys, it's either weird, unhealthy friendships or like ride or die literally for like the rest of your life changing kind of friendships. There's no in between. <laughs> Like, it's weird friendships where people you're gonna forget existed for, like, five years afterwards. Or ride or die. You can't even choose. Let's see. Is it over here? Yeah, it's fairly close. I like when it generates, like, on the map. Otherwise, I tend to not be able to navigate as well. God, I would not go um, totem hunting on stream, because knowing me, I'd end up embarrassing myself because I barely know how to do it. I tried once and then the map, the thing didn't generate with the map, which I had to look up and apparently it's a thing that happens. Sometimes it just doesn't generate with the map. And I was like, cool, 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 cool. Crying, screaming inside because I spent several hours doing that. And technically, I mean, I could, some of the other um, totems I have gotten, like technically illegally, I probably could use and say like, well, yeah, I almost got one like legally it just didn't generate but i don't know i don't like that justification so i just don't use them technically if someone else talks about them and like makes them become lore relevant then i'm like yeah sure i'll be like yeah sure and i'll be like and i'll be like yeah that's canon okay it's canon now can't stop this um gold iron tnt heart of the sea i love hearts of the sea they're good. Um, I don't need bread. We love a good deba debate scrum thing. Okay, I'm gonna have to- we have to fill in the rest of this. Okay. So we have to go a little bit this way. Until it fills in. That's good. And then... This way. Until it fills in. Yeah, mostly, I think. No, just a bit. And then promptly go all the way over here to the other corner. I don't like that it doesn't show, like, the biome grass color. I mean, it makes sense, because, like, land being specifically, like, green, it kind of makes sense. I just don't- I'm not a fan of it. I'd prefer if it showed, like, the biome color more accurately, you know? this? Oh. I'll take some coal. I'm being harassed. I didn't ask for this. Dude. Dude. You're like asking to be murder murdered right now and I didn't I didn't want to do it to you. And you just ask so politely. How can I refuse? Okay. We need copper. All the copper. Ever. Ooh. Yeah, that was a good one. Pretty okay. Yo, 
You'll have to see it. Let's see if that actually goes. Sometimes they just don't go. And that's fine. Sometimes they do, though. Which way am I? Okay, yeah, I'm this way. Hello. Thanks. Hey, guys. I love the turtles on the beach. It's always so nice to just run across them. And especially because the beaches are so, so large now that you don't just like see them once and then they fall off into the water and then don't come back. It's like they hang out on the beach for a while because they're so slow. Turtles on the beach. I like when there's a bunch, of, I like animals that like have, like turtles in Minecraft are one of the perfect Minecraft animals because they have a use if you're like into all that technical stuff or if you want that for PVP or what have you. But it's also like, they're good just like as adding to the world and making it feel more alive. Like, you could just bring some turtle eggs and hatch some turtles in one of your, like, underwater builds and be like, okay, this looks good. And then you'd be right, because it does. Hey, kid. Is that... Oh, it's sea pickles. Okay. This... Oh, yeah, I thought it was netherrack, but nope, it's more coral. Oh? If I weren't, like, a couple hundred thousand blocks away, I would be very excited right now. Because then I'd be able to maybe find an arctic fox, but I am, in fact, that far away. So, I promptly don't care as much, because it's like, if I even find something that I want to find, I can't bring it back. Maybe I can find an igloo, though. Those have, um, certain kinds of those will have some good stuff. Hey, King. Die for me, okay? I'm not doing a great job. Die, please. Kindly. You love sand on a beach. Okay, King. You didn't have to. Ice biomes look so much better in 1.18. Gonna be real. They just do. That's just facts. One point eighteen generation superior in almost every aspect. Of course, I'm always going to complain about coal, but that's because I'm whiny. And I don't like not having things. <laughs> and having to actually think about the game in a different way. Oh no. People who complain because of the amount of time it takes, it's like, like they couldn't have expected it to take so long to do and implement all these features that they wanted to in implement. And if they wanted to implement it quicker, they would have. It's just like, you can't. They can't be any faster without compromising their morals and, like, forcing crunch time upon, like, their workers, so. People who, like, completely just think it's, like, completely bad and that people need to, they need to have just already done the thing already. They don't have any sense of, like, nuance or, like, realism about what's going to be, like, what's going to happen, like, on a practical level for people who want to, who, like, work there, you know? This is a great combination of biomes. You get snowy tundra, ice spikes, regular um, taiga, and then also some of the larger taiga. You'll love to see it. Is YouTube gonna... Yeah, YouTube's complaining at me. There we go. I love these forests. I need to find, I need to make a good base in one of these one of these days. I had one on like a world, but it was like my other 1.18 world. And I don't know, I just kept dying and losing all my things. And it wasn't as fun because I was like, well, 
I like playing on hard mode, but I also don't like having to like rage quit and lose all my things and not and have to start all over basically. That's not fun at all. So maybe one of these days on the hardcore series, I'll actually manage to stop by one of these, but I'm either finding really small ones or like ones that just like the biome blend around it isn't as interesting to me, like out of character. Because, I don't know, some of it has to, like, make sense with the character on where I choose to settle. And then some of it is also just, like, practically, like, what can I think of that I might build here? Like, that'll be, like, a rudimentary kind of starting build for them to live in. And it's like, I don't know. <laughs> I almost streamed that today, actually, my hardcore roleplay series. I really enjoy streaming it. It's really fun. But, um, it's one of those ones that really, like, cements how lonely, um... Uh, playing in single player can be like and that's part of the intention but also part of it is like I don't want to sit here for two hours role playing and being lonely all by myself and also my cat uh, manages to ruin my cat is the most fail RP animal in existence who decides to come and ruin my day and crash Minecraft only when I'm role playing by myself like a dork and right now they're sleeping she's sleeping right there being a darling and is like, yeah, I've never done anything wrong in my life. But I know. Like, this is huge! This is a huge forest! I would totally settle down here if I'd found it in, um, the Hardcore series. Or the Ice Spikes. I probably would have settled in the Ice Spikes and made, like, a little, like, kind of igloo. Thing, which would have been nice. But yeah, one of the problems with like building and terraforming in these areas though is you need silk touch podzel if you want to keep it to being all podzel. Otherwise you're gonna have patches of dirt or coarse dirt to try and fill in areas. Which not as fun. I think the character would also get as frustrated as I would. What's that over there? Is that more coral? Yeah. What? Hello, King? I'm here to murder? No, no trident. Some people have been asking in uh, the Discord, like, hey, does anyone have any extra tridents? And I technically do have four, but those are... One is my main, and then the other is... Oh, sweet, okay. And the other is, um... Like, my... Uh... It's my channeling trident, and then I've got one back up of each. Because I did used to have more, and then I just accidentally lost one because I was an idiot and tossed it into some lava. Which I'm sure would have, like, been the most painful thing in existence for some people if they didn't have a replacement, but I do. And that's purely not even, like, there's no trident farms on this server, I think. It's purely just me, um, wandering around and running into trident-yielding grounds too much, you know? Which I guess is partially like luck, but then also like if you don't spend like literally hours and hours and hours of time like running around investigating and exploring, you're not gonna have that quote unquote luck. And I have spent hours specifically hunting for tridents as well, which not fun. Gonna just say it. Not as fun. Especially if you're alone. I'll just sit there like listening to a video or something and do it. Okay, let's get the treasure, hopefully. I can't deal with two treasure heartbreak. Okay, okay, okay. X, X marks the spot. A? No. Pain, suffering, okay. At least I can just do this. Which, I don't like the visual glitch that you sometimes get when you're mining things too fast. Like, let me be OP, okay? Come on. Am I gonna be two, one for three? I cannot be one for three. I can't live like this. I can't live with this shame. Here it is. Sweet. Okay. Oh, more diamonds. Um, yeah, I'll collect everything I need to so I can just... We've gotten 29 chests so far. Listen, I measure my success in how many chests I find. Because chests require two logs per craft 
and you might need probably two per like and you need two per double chest you're gonna need a lot especially if you're crafting hoppers like an iron farm will you like to make a big wood farm on the level of an iron farm to create the amount of hoppers you might need you're gonna need a lot and like a lot um and that's purely because like to make one of those, you'll need TNT dupers of some sort, maybe, or actual TNT, like, generators, which you would need a gunpowder farm for. Or if you have a different kind of automatic farm, where it's, like, um, one of the ones Tango did this season, like, season 8 in Hermitcraft, which is technically automatic, but also, like, has the, um, other factors to consider. Here, I'm gonna craft this into... Um, but it's like, yeah, this isn't, like, it's not practical. So, like, being able to just, like, collect chests, like, and you're not gonna ever go back there, and no one else is going to, like, you're gonna take the loot anyway, and if you're not gonna take the loot, it, it, it might as well just, like, not exist anymore, so you can leave it to despawn, you know? Okay, if there's a treasure, sh tr uh, treasure, um, map in here, then we know it's probably not, um, whoa. Okay, bud. I like when coral, like, integrates into the... Okay, yeah. Like, it just might as well not exist, you know? So, like, why not take it out of existence, you know? Coral farming was fun. Like, I just grab, like, uh, three or four potions of both night vision and water breathing and just go wild. It's fun. Um... I'm sure, like, most people aren't up for those kind of mindless, uh, collection tasks, but I think it's fun. Because, like, it's something where, like, I know I'm not wasting my time, you know? I know you can't, like, farm coral blocks specifically. You can car far farm the fans, which I do bring some bone meal along to farm extra fans and, uh, coral, um, plants, like, itself, not the blocks. But other than that, like, I don't... It's not, like, wasting time. Which is good. Because part of me, I'm like one of those people who's like never, I'm never going to be fully efficient. Because I don't want to learn redstone. It just wouldn't be fun for me. Like learning the basics, yeah, that's that's good. Learning the basics, um, being able to like at least slightly automate and make the game itself just simpler. Is good. But only on like a basic level for me. If it's like too much, then I'm like, nah. I'd rather just not. And technically I should, like, I have a little, like, IOU thing, like, one redstone contraption from, um, Pybro. And maybe I could ask them to make something like a sorting system, but I don't have an area where I'd want my major sorting system to be. Because I'd want it to be, like, literally mega to hold all of that shit I have. Instead, I'd much prefer literally just having the, um... Because I'm going to get shulker boxes eventually, and my method with shulker boxes is literally, like get an insane amount and use it to store all of my like condensed items okay literally none of this is good okay hey guys okay um gonna turn that into that and then turn this see here we go Where did I- did I? No. Not a fool. Okay guys, that's it. That's all I would need from you. I'm good. Bye. But it's like, yeah, I just don't have- like, I have an area in my brain sorted out. Like, I have a concept for what I want my, like, living quarters and my mega base to be. Which would be like a mini or a mini, like, cave system. Like, no, it'd have like this rounded out area it would have some of the, um, like, void fog, but in a specific pattern I have in my brain. And the rest of it would be maybe something else. I don't know if I'd be able to pull it off. I don't know if you can really do patterns in the void fog like that if you use, um, like, glass. But I have an idea, and then, like, it would be like that, and then you would have, like, kind of these spokes of, like, little caves right off the sides of this large, like, circular room. 
and each of them would be in a different like rainbow color order and my house well there would be one of them would be like my living area which would just basically be like a bed kind of nest area and maybe some chests and like a place where for me to put my armor and then there would be an armory and there would be a um, like food area and there would be like storage for all of my major like things but I might also have like a different building for storage of things like cobblestone where I'll have a shit ton and not want to like and like have some of it like give up like I've been pl I planned on making a basement area to the barn which is a free storage area for literally anyone to use that I store a majority of like my excess into because I collect a bunch of stuff and then also sometimes I specifically like collect things like I collected an entire barrels worth of uh, golden carrots to share which I'm fine with doing because it's easy but it would be of course easier if I had um I could zombify villagers but we can't do that because like for the sake of balancing everyone some people want it don't want to fight mobs and some people do so it's on easy mode <laughs> I think I might prefer if it were maybe on normal mode because then at least um is this really not connected to anything holy shit okay go off can't get this in 1.18 I think can get this here though but like, I'd prefer if it were on normal mode at least so I could have a chance, you know, to um, get more, get zombified villagers and like purposefully do it as opposed to finding zombie villagers in the wild and having to collect them. But you know, you can't always get everything you want and it's fair for the balancing because it's a multiplayer server so you have to accommodate to everyone's needs and some people like literally just can't or won't fight mobs and that's fine. As long as they can find an area and like can play the game and still feel like safe and happy and enjoy the experience, then it's like fine. Because that's like what people's priorities should be if they do own a multiplayer server, like to make sure the experience is fun and enjoyable for everyone as possible, and to make people feel safe and like welcome to the server, and to ensure they can just have fun. And part of me ensuring that people can have fun, even if I don't own the server, is to have those kinds of community spaces where they don't have to worry about collecting all of these things or what have you because they can just be like yeah I already know I can get that so I don't have to worry about that and it's fine instead I can just play and do what I want to do and if they want to grind and get all of the stuff themselves they can you know but it's just going to be more difficult and that's going to be on them to do you know Sometimes you kill mobs for experience to repair your tools and weapons, and that's fine. Um, oh, this is my wrong pickaxe, whatever. Like, playing on a server, part of it you have to be considerate of other people, even if you do own the server, quote unquote. At some point, it's like a community-run project, even if your name is on it, or if you're the one who's controlling, like, the thing, like, you're an admin or whatever. And, like, sure, yeah, part of your decisions, because it's yours, or maybe you pay for it, or what have you, is important. But then there's also the consideration that at some point it becomes a community project, where there are multiple people who work on it, and as a community, you all work on it and are invested in it, you know? At some point, it's, like, not your own feelings or your own ideas that are that take precedent instead it's um everyone on the server and it's really nice to be on a server that actually does take everyone's needs into consideration especially with accommodations and such because otherwise some people are just like like it's much easier to become friends that way like when you when everyone already knows like yeah everything is going to be fine i don't have to worry about being brief or what have you I don't have to worry about people stealing. Instead, they can just focus on either role playing and creating a story or just um, making friends, maybe. Or progressing in the game if that's what they want to do instead, you know? But that really depends on what someone wants out of their experience on a Minecraft server, which. Sometimes people don't want the same thing, and that's fine. They just don't have to work together on it. 
or like they can go and find a different server that more accommodates to that want. If they want to PvP and like be an assassin or whatever, they can go and be on a faction server. But if they want to do it in roleplay and everyone's agreeing to it, then yeah, it's fine. It just matters with how you handle the situation and communicate with each other as opposed to just doing what you want, you know? And we've managed communication pretty well on the server, which I very much enjoy. I don't have to worry about things like, um... Like, I know that if I had done something wrong, people would come and talk to me and tell me to stop, or tell me, like, why it's wrong, even if I didn't know beforehand. And that's something that's reassuring, because I know that if I do fuck up, I won't suddenly be like, everyone hates me. It'll be like an understanding, like, everyone knows what it's like to fuck up or feel like you fucked up, so... They know, um, that I'm genuine and, like, trying to- trying my best, because that's, like, something that's really beneficial when you do eventually become friends with most people on a server. Which, yeah. Like, before this, I, like, literally never went- I, like, stopped- I got unfairly banned from a server with no consideration, no one t spoke to me about it. So then, I was like, well- like, I didn't feel like I'd be able to find, like, people on a server again that I'd be able to, like, be friends with, or, like, even if it's just, like, through the medium of Minecraft. Like, I knew I could do it on Discords and stuff. Like, I just finally started getting fine with being on Discords again, because it was, like, a time, you know? Sometimes Discord can be scary, especially with how, um... Like, how rigid some people's, like, social rules are that they never explain to anyone. It's like, dude, what- what do you want from me? You know? And, like, huge Discord server is definitely terrifying. If I'm with them while they're growing and they become huger, then it's, like, fine. Because if it's, like- I can only handle maybe, like, being- paying full attention to, like, one or two Discords at most. Is this one good? Oh, hello? Where's the one with the trident? Huh? Where? Ow. Okay, you're over here. No? Yeah, nothing's really accomplished here, huh? Where's my, um... Is this one where I was? Oh no, it's right here, okay. Um, where's- there's the torches. Yeah, sometimes people in discords can be really weird. Cause it's like a weird, like, place where people on the internet intersect. Like, they can start off from different places, from like Twitter or Tumblr or whatever or Instagram or something, and then they all start, like, a Discord together. Or maybe you just find someone from, like, a video game and, like, share your Discord or, like, you're in a video game Discord or whatever. And it's, like, a weird place where people intersect and, like, you don't have a full grasp of what is socially acceptable anymore. And it's very unnerving to be like, okay, well, what do you want from me? <laughs> like, what do you want? What's acceptable here? And then no one explains anything. Which, I'm very grateful for people who make sure to, like, have a very concrete rule system. Otherwise, I'm like, I don't- If you say just don't be a dick, I don't know what you mean by that at this point. Sometimes being a dick is somewhat acceptable. Only because, um... Like, if it's funny or something. You know? And then even then, like, if you're being a sarcastic asshole, then sometimes it's like, Oh yeah, that's hilarious. And then sometimes it's like, dude, you're being really hurtful. And it's like, I don't know what you mean. Which is why tone tags and stuff are so great. I can know if someone's literally, like, meaning it, like, oh, I hate your ass. Like, get off the internet or whatever. Or if they're actually, like, specifically being like, hey, hate it here. Joking. But saying I hate it here is, like, a funny way to be like, ah, oh, yes, this sucks. But, like, in a way where I'm just, like, jokingly. Like, man, I wish they didn't invent the internet or something. But, yeah. Some people, like, just aren't nice on Discord, which is wild. There are too many- I would never, like, try and go and instantly join, like, a public Discord or something. I'd be like, who the hell do you think I am? Like, what do you want? 
What do you think I can- do you think I can handle that? No. Hello? That's three. Whew. Three all collected. I don't need bucks. Well, do I look like a nerd? What's that over there? No, that's it. You don't have it. Hello? What? Guys? We did not accomplish much over here, huh? I'm sure whatever treasure maps in here will probably the exact same, so I'll just pass over them. Because it's like, in a certain radius, all of the treasure maps in the area are gonna all lead to the same exact place. Which, like, yeah, fine, whatever. That makes sense, but also, it's very annoying. For me, specifically. I do like the influx of chests, though. We've got 38. 38's a good number. Maybe we can find a village or something. Nope. It's just a tiny island. Okay. Oh, yeah. I forgot I had my boxes on. Temple, huh? I am not raiding a temple today. Sometimes when I come across them, I'll immediately raid them, but right now, I'm not feeling it. Not feeling it at all. Is that I swear I saw something. Here. Hello. Oh! Did you drop? Is that what I want? Nope. Okay. Cool. No, what? Just, just one? Okay. Okay. Sometimes it'd be like that, I suppose. Was that a land mouse? I think it's just another island, huh? I do prefer exploring by ocean. More chances of finding tridents, and also, like, you'll find weird little islands, which is fun. I don't think I... Is that a second temple, or is that... What is that? It looks like a simple second temple. Hello? Oh, it's definitely a second temple. Okay, 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 okay. I'm literally just constantly a sleepy little sheepy, like I can't deny this. The accusations are true. I'm a sleepy little sheepy at all times. H hello? What kind of chest is that? Okay. 
And then, okay, don't tell me this is... Yeah, I'm not even on this. I don't care. And then a, um... Okay. At some point, I'm, I'm fully willing to throw out, um, iron if I come across it, and, like, I need some more space, because we do have that big iron farm, and it works pretty darn well. Oh, let's find a desert temple. I'm pretty sure desert temples have, like, one of the best chances. Desert temples and mineshaft chests have some of the best chances for, um, enchanted golden apples, as far as I know. Maybe dungeons as well, like dungeon rooms. I can't really think other than that. Is that- Okay, you guys, your ship is, a. Uh, you really beached her, huh? Beached her like a whale. Dude. Like, you- this is, like, the worst outcome, huh? <laughs> yeah, don't care, didn't ask, ratio, etc. I need the experience. I need the experience for my tool. Please, please, have mercy. Wish it were night almost, but of course it always gets more complicated if you've got a, um, hostile mobs trying to get up on your business if you're trying to raid something like a desert temple. Oh, village, 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 village. More chest, more chest, more chest. Like literally, I just, I'm here. I am the chest monster. Do I have, I only, I, I can have half a stack and more. Um, how much, what else don't I need? Um, I need copper. I don't need melons at all. Also wild that I've just found like six diamonds from the chests. Like I didn't intend for that one to happen, huh? Just does. Hey king. Oh thanks. I'm pretty sure desert villages have the most like crafting benches in them. You don't see them much in um I see them in Savannah and Taiga as well, but not as much. I don't know, just the generations of some of these things is so whack. Hey, what's up? I don't want bread. Yeah. Okay, you guys, your village sucks. Like, did you kill a rabbit? Are you? I'm trying to, I'm trying to kill, I'm trying to murder. I'm not gonna kill a cat. I will kill a wolf, not a cat. I have lines that I must draw in the sand. Cat murder is one of those lines. Okay, you have literally three houses. Guys. You're better than this. Okay, yeah, they're definitely murdering rabbits. I don't know, man. I don't know what the, what's wrong with them. Cats are just one of the best Minecraft mobs, frankly. The updates in the village and pillage update to them were very good, but in fact, I do I do miss being able to find cats from being in a jungle. Okay, there was a creeper in that sand. Dude, I'm just trying to do some... Here we go. See, that's what I wanted. Like, cats, I, I enjoyed being able to, like, go into a jungle and tame an ocelot to try and get a cat. Like, that's fun. That's some fun Minecraft gameplay right there. But the fact that we can infinitely get them from villages, good. Good shit as well. Like, I, I do love me some infinite cat. And also, like, they're very, um, they technically do have, like, a use. Like, you can use them technically to farm things. 
Like, that's how I get all my, um, rabbit's foot. Like, I don't go out killing rabbits or collect rabbits and have a farm for them because, one, that's been very much a lot of effort. And two, I one time spent, like, several hours trying to bring some rabbits over to my area in a, um, in a different server. I can't remember what server it was. It was, like, a multiplayer server at some point when I was, like, younger. And some, t some of the rabbits, like, literally just, like, yeeted themselves off a cliff. And I'm like, dude, I didn't ask for this. I didn't ask for this burden. It was the most distressing thing ever. And I was like, okay, guys. I'm just sitting here listening to, like, I don't know, 21 Pilots or whatever I listened to at the time. Or Three Days Grace. I don't know. That was, like, all I listened to at one point when I was younger. Which, like, valid. Slapped. I still listen to both of those, just probably not all the same exact song, because there were some of those songs where I listened to them far too much. Because I was like, wow, Poetic Cinema, this is the best, um, no one can surpass this. Because I hadn't, like, listened to MCR or something yet. If I had listened to MCR when I was younger, I would have been unstoppable, but unfortunately I listened to, like, one musical artist for a majority of my life as a kid, and then proceeded to be like, I guess I'll listen to something else. And then everything went downhill from there. <laughs> Proceeded to listen to only one other artist instead of just one. I listened to two. And then three, and then now it's like, I will listen to one song from one artist and then never look at them again. <laughs> Obsidian? Okay. Oh, golden um, horse armor is good. I've been skipping over iron horse armor. Iron horse armor, not good, not good. I will sometimes, if I have a bunch, then like I had a bunch like that I was just collecting and then I ended up being like, well, yeah, this isn't good armor. So then I left over by the stables. I'm sure maybe someone's grabbed some of it at some point, but like no one cares, you know? Um, I've got room. I don't need that, and I don't need... Do I have... I don't think I have a villager for quick charge 3 right now. Sometimes my villagers just disappear because my life is pain and suffering, but, you know, that's just how it be sometimes. Oh, it's getting dark. Well, this is a big-ass village. We love it here. Um, I don't need bones. We have a skeleton farm. Like, it's not very good, but it's a skeleton farm. Like, you gotta accept the fact that I have one. Like, I'm the kind of person who will be like, well, it's automated, and it's, like, the most minuscule, like, amount per hour that you can automate something. It's, like, the most basic-ass shit, and I'm just like, well, it's technically automated. Like, over time, I will automatically get these things, so... Basically, I don't have to select them. I will make the most basic bitch farms ever, and they'll be so bad, and I'll be like, yup, automated. Yup. Pinnacle of redstone. No one can surpass me. Hey. Hey, wanna come talk about it? Okay. Tall grass, tall grass, tall grass, tall grass, tall grass. Tall grass, tall grass, tall grass. We found it, we found it, boys. We found the tall grass. Tall grass, tall grass, tall grass. Um, what do, what don't I need? Huh? I'll replace obsidian for tall grass. I'll do anything for tall grass break this one for fun, break this for profit, break this for fun, profit, and break this just for fun. Oh, these generated into each other, that's weird. Hey King, I don't, I don't want this. I didn't ask for this. Did I check over here? No, oh, this is a church. I didn't ask for your church. Tall grass, tall grass, tall grass, tall grass. We've done it, boys. We've got so much tall grass. It's literally like the most important thing to me. I find tall grass and large ferns in the god. This is a very theological based so society. Okay, guys. We get it. You like Jesus and stuff. But whenever I find. Like, I found, um, what? I found an enchanted golden apple in my fucking hardcore world and then promptly got drop creepered in that world and did not get a chance to use it. 
another tall grass. Holy shit, holy shit. Fucking stonks. We are living right now. Oh my god. Yeah, these ones are sometimes fully grown too, but I barely, barely see those. Well, let's go. I love this one. I hope you can hear music. I'm trying to keep it semi-low, simply because, first off, I don't want to be copyright claimed, but also because, like, listen to me, pay attention to me. Hello, I'm just one crafting bench. Listen, you dumb child. I don't care. But then I never got a chance to use that goddamn enchanted golden apple, like literally pain and suffering. Like what else what else can they take from me this time? And then the large ferns that I was collecting and didn't have didn't use yet. I wasn't gonna use them ever probably. But like pain. Pain and suffering. kill things and try and get my fragment up. Like, I try and keep these things moderately repaired, simply because one, it's good. And especially if I'm using a turtle helmet, especially if the turtle helmet has thorns, it's not going to have a lot of durability, you know? And you can't change these kinds of things. Dude. Okay, didn't ask for this. Okay. Everyone's being so rude today. Man. I think you know a guy. He just explodes violently right in front of me. These goddamn drop creepers are like ruining my roleplay series, you know? Which like, something about it being so like, unexpected and sudden is very good. Because, oh Jesus, that is not what I intended on doing. Dude, I'm just trying. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to repair my shovel. I'm trying to live my life, and they're out here murdering me live on television, live on Twitch.tv/slash/save the spiral. Hey, King. Drop creepers out here ruining my hardcore series, but them also like being um like so funny is so is like good because you get the like, good reactions of me actually being startled. Um But you know. Oh, iron. Do I have iron? I don't have iron. I replaced iron for obsidian, then replaced obsidian for tall grass, as you fucking do. You can only get tall grass from savannah villages, I think. Maybe also plains? I'm pretty sure no, though. No on that one. I think just savannah villages, and then you can also get them in, uh, in, uh, well, not in other places, but you can get large ferns in taiga villages, which are important. You tiny idiot children. I didn't ask for this. But yeah, the fact that I managed to actually progress and get up to diamond and then didn't, and then suddenly stop when I'm searching for more diamond, like, it's interesting. Like, my character just can't, they can't win. I don't, I don't know. That's just the nature of hardcore, though. Things just get very difficult. And it feels unfair. Did I see something? No. King, why are you here? Just leave. Another bitch. There's so much. It's so much effort. I don't wanna. I'll take the extra coal. I don't care about torches. I just want um hay. Nope. This is a 
cute little island though, like a little river going through it. Okay. Yes, YouTube, I still want to listen to things. Here, I gotta... Oh, more, bit more ruins. Is that a chicken? Why do I hear a chicken? Did a drown spawn on a chicken or something? Why is there a chicken? Why did it spawn like that? Who does that? Okay, idiot child. I'm not here for you. Okay, dude, guys, you are obsessed with me. Perchance, instead of trying to kill me, you subscribe at twitch.tv slash save the spiral. Like, have you considered this course of action? It instantly makes you, like, 10% hotter. You, like, become, like, from a 7 to maybe a 7.5. Like, we got, you guys, consider this course of action. Axolotl, hello, hello little friend, bucket friend, bucket friend, bucket friend. Is there actually going to be more land, or... No. Defo not. Oh, the kitty cat is still sleeping. She's just been sleeping this entire gosh darn time. She's a little angel. Like, literally. A little angel. He's never done anything wrong, apparently. At least legally. Oh, hello, 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 hello. Gimme, 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 gimme. And... Okay. Do I have... How many do I have? I have 61. Do we stop at a stack? I don't want... I only have 61. If I find two more, where do I find two more? Oh, one of these bad boys. You love to see it. Oh, sick. This is sick. Okay. Holy shit. I love when you can render in and see the lava falls and lava falls start falling. More tropical ocean? Warm ocean, I see. Hello, hello, hello. This is some amazing land, like, generation. Like, 
people sleep on how good some of the forest land generation is. Gonna be real. Like, just because it's not as extreme. Like, there are some, like, forest hill biomes that, like, go wild. And then, of course, all generation gets much better. Oof. You can go all the way up a mountain. That's sick. In, um, in 1.18, like, the generation just gets better. Like, that's just facts. Like, you can't deny it. Though I do want to look around at more, um, more places like uh, deserts and mesas. I only managed to see basically one. And like, I could go in creative and be like, locate by and whatever. But like, the effort it takes. suffering whatever this is so good hello like mountains generation was already pretty good and now it's just like even better in 1.18 and i want to play around in a 1.18 mesa i want to make i want to find one like the only one i found was in um in the hardcore series was like very very near the beginning so i still like in character didn't know basically anything and was like running from stuff like i remember in that mesa like i didn't know what a creeper was and i saw one explode for the first time in character and yeah i think if i found one again i'd definitely have the character settle down there because it's like one super good very pretty and also like um it's just like super super pretty Lots of gold generation. Lots of um, mine shafts to explore. So they'll find a bunch of cool stuff and they love to find mine shafts currently, even though, of course, the first one they found, they ended up dying in. And then the second one, of course, they end up dying in the cave near it. But, you know. And they still barely didn't know what a cave spider is. They're just like, wow, smaller spider. Creepy. And then moved on with their life because they managed to kill it fast, which I do not think I would. I, I thought I'd managed to get on. Oh, sweet. I thought I'd managed to get poison before I managed to do anything else, but you know, sometimes you're just good at the game, I guess. Which, sometimes I'm like worried that like the char in character, I'll appear to be too good like at the game in like a meta context, because I know how to do things like, um, And stuff but you know I can't always worry about that sometimes things are just automatic like the way I play it and I can't really change that without putting in a lot more effort than I probably would want to you know hello children hello ma'am I'll take your uh, what I'll take I'll take moss I guess I'll take I want some of these huh huh Bucket. I like that you don't know what the bucket of tropical fish is. Actually, I don't want this. I want moss. I actually don't want any of these things. I've lied to you. You're an idiot, man. All men do is lie. This is facts. That's a joke. I'm men. Why would I? All I do is lie. That sounds very counterintuitive. Chest. No large fern. I will find, however, maybe I can get the double stack of chests. Maybe. Pausers, pause you. Oh, hello, Fletcher. I thought that's what, no, you're a shepherd. Oh, I was like, I didn't think that was what the Fletcher looks like. It wasn't a Fletcher. That's why it didn't look like that. I just haven't used shepherds much because you don't really need them. And it's not like, it's not efficient, almost in any sense to use them. Though I did think the same thing of leather workers and then I promptly like leveled up one because I had excess, um, I had excess uh, leather and then I was like, whoa, okay, go on. Thanks for all the um, cool shit. This village really, really sucks. 
I found some absolutely garbage villages. Guys, why do you live like this? You've got approximately two people with actual jobs, apparently. Oh, see, look at this. Imagine that, like, building on this. Or, like, building on this little island and having that, like, as a natural, like, cover around. I wanted to have my character settle in that, like, flowering valley, but then I decided that, um, like, while I was wandering around, I decided, hey, maybe, like, if something can fall on top of them, that won't be considering their history with drop creepers currently. Like, I've thought about, like, I think way too extensively on, like, what they would or would not want in an area, and that's why I pass up so many good areas, apparently, like, quote-unquote. And also, like, the flowers are something that definitely brings them a lot of comfort right now, and they're very distressed, so. That's just part of their quote-unquote feelings. And I definitely, like, have things in mind for the character. Which, like, part of it is just, like, contributed even when people aren't there, like, I'm thinking, like, the character and me are both thinking about what people have said and what they've done. And, like, it's something they take into consideration a lot, and I also, like, take advantage of, like, what people have told the character. Even if, like, I take advantage of that to be able to be like, yeah, I now know this thing and can use this, even if, or I can, like, extrapolate this other thing from it, because, like, they learn very fast. They're not stupid, they just don't know things, you know? Like, it's not always a factor of being stupid. Sometimes it's just you literally don't and can't know, and then if someone tells you, you're like, okay, got it. Like, ignorance and stupidity aren't always the same thing. Like, Willful ignorance is probably stupidity. I think that qualifies if you're like willfully being like, yeah, I don't want to know anything. And my character almost has fallen into that a few times, but that's particularly because like learning things has still hurt them just like other things have. And you can't change the fact that like once you learn things about the world, it's inevitably going to start hurting you because you're realizing things you know, like how not everything is fair, but that's just the point. That's just for the real world as well, so, you know. That's just how it be, you know? More goats. I'm a goat murderer now. I slay goats on my altar. We hoe around. This is how we do. We can hoe from time to time. Oh, horses, horses, horses. Yeah, I made like a. I made some like specific decisions regarding the character itself, which is like. Like it's a choice. Dun -dun. Are you? Yeah. Hello, King! Sorry, I can't rescue you. So there's lights over there, but they were all turning this way. Is there a village over here? No. It's a flower forest. Yeah, I knew there was a village. They have so zombies have literally like the longest range of almost any like to aggro on you of almost any mob. Of course Endermen can be longer, but that's purely because you pointedly aggravate them. But you know. Oh, that's so sick. Oh, we win these? Okay. Hell on Earth. Look at that, that's so cool. And nothing of use. The difference of me finding villages here and then finding villages elsewhere is so wild. I'm just like, okay. I guess I did want some Okay, 
Okay, yeah, we do have to watch this. This happened. Oh, it covered up- yeah, it covered up the water source already? I don't think it's gonna hit the water at all, which I had wanted to happen, but I guess it didn't. Fair. Valid. Oof. We love to see this, though. The way the, like, light also crawls down. Very good. Good shit. Hmm. Yeah, all the water's already gone. Water flows <sighs> far slower. Far, far faster, that's what I meant. Lava flows slower. And then you get the little, like, ash because it's covering up the grass. We love to see it. Is that it? Is that all we got? Or... Oh, we got some fire. I think that's all we got, though, for the lava spread. Oh, wait, did somebody... Oh, I thought I would get into this hole over here, but it didn't... I'm gonna need another space for, um... <clears throat> yeah, I don't need this. This village is like hell. This village is awful. Guys, you all just live like this, huh? Oh, and then more lava- this village is literally surrounded by lava, like, on all sides. And part of it is my fault, and the other part of it isn't, so... I don't have to take full credit for this one. But yeah, me finding a village in the hardcore series is so different from me finding a village here, because I'm just like, yeah, whatever. I want chests, and that's it, and that's literally all I want. And then if I find tall grass or something, I'm like, fuck yeah, let's go. Oh, hey, idiot. Idiot child. I ain't ask her. I think that baby zombies should be as scared of you as baby hoglins are. That's my hot take. Gonna be real. Hottest take. Baby hoglins get scared of you if they take damage. And it counts as from you, like even if it's thorns or whatever. I think baby zombies should also do that. Make some baby zombies be the scared ones for once, please. They terrify me. God, when the baby zombies almost end my fucking hardcore world, I'm just like, wow. Maybe feels it was right. Feels it was right, 2022. Yeah? Thank you, hard shit. There you go, idiot. Let's go more into this area and see if we can find another village. Because at this point, have I maybe dedicated to the 2k, 2 stack of chess pop challenge? I don't know. Not really. What? I think this is Pokemon music. Remixes. Oh. Oh, it's ba Bades. I do love Bade. Bade. Bade? The blonde ones. You know? Sometimes it's just, they just have to be blonde, and that's all I need in my life. And it's specifically, like, in anime games, it's like, wow, you're blonde, okay. Hmm. Nothing? Nothing of interest? Really? More planes. Sticking to the specific biomes when you're adventuring and, like, knowing which biomes have what is very important because, like, otherwise you'll spend all your time going through whatever biome for whatever reason. Like, if I went through a birch biome, that's because they have a higher percentage of, um, like, it's 
not higher percentage, but it's easier to find the beehives and bee nests there, as well as um, flowering forests. But then if I went through plains, I know I'm specifically looking for villages, mostly. And of course, it's easier in flatland areas to find um, your ruined portals. But, you know, you can't always know and, like, predict that as easily as you can decide and, like, look for something specific. Phantom. Okay. No thanks. Oh, hey. See? Easy to find. I don't want... What do I want to want? Here, how about... I'm, I'm done. I'm done with this little adventure. So we can just go... My hands are cold as hell. Um, let's put this... Where's... I have so many more tall grass than I have tall, uh, tall, f big fern, large fern, tall grass. You know how it be. Um, this goes like here, and this goes like this, and this goes like this. Did I? Oh, there they are. Okay. Um. And these go like here, and this goes like here. These also do go in here. Um, I have 17 Heart of the Seas. Definitely gonna come in useful someday. I'll pull a um, Pixel Rifts like in Empires. He is apparently uh, lighting up everything with the goddamn what have you, the, um, conduits as a light source, which, like, insane, insanity. I love him for it. I also would do that. But, you know, I'm also unhinged in my own special way. Do we have no experience models? Okay. Well, let's go to here, and I can leave some hay here, and then I can leave this here, and I can go to here, and then we can go I'm gonna be right back because uh, my hands are cold as hell, and I need to warm them up.
would be good. It could go down and connect to... Like, it could go down, maybe, this way. And then connect to the one that's going up here. I'd rather just... I just want to connect that one first, though. I'll also need to, um... Fix up the gosh darn moss carpet, lighting, whatever. But you know. Can't always do everything at the same time. But, but. Oh, it looks good over here. You'll love to see it. And the two bros hanging out over there, kissing, or whatever. where I start the, um, you know? Hmm. Do we want to go here or we can go, um, like slightly diagonally and then over? Let's see how we can get this to connect, you know? I might be best to get the, um, Oh, we can fix that other, that broken part over here as well. That's good, that's always good. Oh, I forgot I might need dirt, you know? But I guess I'll have some. Might, I mean, I would do it here at this fork in the road, but now I've got a lighting thing right there. But if I did do it, I'd go like this. And this way? I could go like over here and then to the side and then up. It's just not. Oh, jeez. I guess going around this way isn't the end of the world either, huh? Um. But instead, I go definitely like this. Oh, of course. Oh. Uh. <sighs> I don't. I like, I'm like losing it. I don't care. I don't care. You can't just, you can't do this to me. You can't. I, I'll, I'll uncover this and I'll be like, okay, this is exactly what I have to deal with now, huh? Like, I'm just, I'm, mm, 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 mm -hmm. You can see where, where the Enderman will come by and, you know, you know, done their thing. Enderman shakes fist at sky. I lose my mind. I lose my mind. It wasn't even lit up down here. Huh, 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 huh. huh. It's dark, and it's dark, and it's... Oof, 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 oof. You know? You know? You know? I lose it. I lose my mind every time. What if some- what if some what if creeper blew up and they fell down in this hole and they couldn't- they couldn't get out? Huh? Huh? One single block. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse to allow this to happen. I can't. I can't cope with this. You know?
myself. <laughs> Empty block area. Whew. Okay, just some intense terraforming action, you know? As you do. I'm just trying to think of a way to make this make sense, but there's just nothing else to go around, you know? <clears throat> it's harder when you don't have any, like, buildings to base the pads down. Okay, I might need... If I want it to be, like, a staircase, you know, I'll have to go straight down. You know? Um, where's my stairs? Put the stairs here. Will they actually reach up? Or can I push them back? Because stairs always need more room than you think you do need. Oh, is it perfect? Did I did I freehand perfect? perfect my stairs, huh? Yeah, aside from the fact that they're one off. Huh? Okay. Pain. Okay. Yep. This is my life. I'll have to terraform a way to make these stairs make sense, of course. I don't have any extra torches for these kind of areas, huh? But... Hmm... How do I make these connect? Because I'll need it maybe here? I could have it go diagonal here. Like you can go up and then diagonal this way through here. Okay, King. <laughs> As you do. We want this to go back down. Huh, 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 huh. We need this to be here, and then we'll have this, and then, I don't know. It's like kind of okay, and then we'll go like here, and we'd have it go straight down. 
I guess. I don't know. This is like so... can go what well, no I'd rather okay I need um where's my there my Is it three? I want it to be three, and then sometimes it's like four. I guess four is fine. Never mind. It's it's specifically look, see you, you, you see the brown through the wood. Now we just have to terraform this monstrosity of nature that I have committed against all rational thinking beings that they must witness. See, there we go. Put this side.
yeah, that's good enough. Sometimes you have to be like, yeah, that's good enough. Someone will fix it if they care that much. I think that's it for me today. Really. Definitely might be it for me today. Just vibing. Truly. We got a lot of gear. We got some loot, you know, as you do. Um, we made a path. We discovered some cool areas. At some point I'm gonna have to raid all those temples, but mostly all I want is the gold and the sponges. I have so many sponges, though. Maybe I can tell other people and make them public wharfs if they want them. And if no one wants them, I can delete them. Who knows? I don't know, I just can't pass up resources, though. That's just how it is. That's fine. Definitely the end of the stream though. 